All right, guys. So for this is going to be the last um, Asteroid Destroyer video I do, I think. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to show you a bonus. This is another bonus one. I'm going to show you how to make like a little buddy ship or like a friend ship that will follow you around and it's going to target the asteroids and help you destroy the asteroids. So if you haven't done it already from a previous video, you we can just make like a power up to collect. So I'll just do that really quick. So I'm just going to make a sprite. Um, once again, this doesn't have to look fancy. You can just do a solid color for now. Okay, paint bucket something in. The color. Sure, that looks good. All right, so there's my giant power up. I'll make it smaller. Um, I do have another video where I tell you how to make it spawn from the enemies if you want to do that. For now, for this demo, I'm just going to put it here because I want to mainly talk about the buddy ship. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a smaller version of the ship. So I'm just going to make a new sprite. <clears throat> Whoops, doing this wrong. Sprite. There we go. And I'm going to call it Buddy. Okay. And since it's going to be similar, I can just load in one of the ship sprites and I'm just going to make it smaller. So let's try this yellow one. Okay. And then same thing. I do want to rotate it to the right, just like the big one. And then I'm going to resize. Um, now the original one, I believe was 70, 75 by 102. So let's say we, oh, oh, that's right. Actually, I can leave it kind of skinny like that. That would be fine. But I'm going to shrink this down a little bit more. So um, the 102, if we cut that in half, let's do 51. So actually, I'm going to do 51 on this side because I rotated it first. And then 72, let's do about 36 for this other one. 51 by 36. I think that would be cutting the ship in half roughly. Yep. So that's going to just be like a really small version of the ship. Okay, and it'll look a little pixelated, but it looks fine on the screen. So there's a little buddy that's going to follow him around. Okay. Um, now, this is going to use a couple of things. It's going to use pathfinding behavior to kind of like travel around on its own. But I do want it to also like while it's following you, I want it to independently target the asteroids and shoot them. So we're actually going to make a turret that's going to get like pinned onto its back. And then that turret is going to be able to target the enemy. So I'm also going to make another sprite. And I'm going to call it, uh, we'll just call it Buddy Turret, something like that. Okay, put that on. That can This can just be a paint bucket thing. Okay, I'll make a different color than the power up though so we don't get confused. Okay, and it can be huge or whatever. I will shrink it down quite a bit. But basically, we're going to like pin that onto its back basically. But we'll just put that off screen for now. Okay, so we've got those two both set there. Um, we have to add some behaviors. So on the turret, obviously we want to have turret behavior. And basically what the turret behavior does is like you can set a target for something and then it will, the turret will rotate and kind of shoot at it just like an actual turret would do. And then the other behavior we're going to add is called pin. And pin means basically we can stick it to something. So we're going to have the turret get spawned and we're going to pin it to the back of this guy so that it'll do its own thing and then this turret we're going to make it invisible so that the player can't see it okay and then the buddy ship um this guy's going to have a behavior called pathfinding so we're going to go ahead and click and add a behavior and it's called pathfinding i think that's all that we should have to do yep that should be all that we have to do for that pathfinding should be fine all right so we're going to go to my event sheet the first thing is, is we do need to destroy those on start of layout. So we're going to destroy the buddy. And we're going to destroy the turret. Uh, there it is, buddy turret. Destroy. Okay, so we're going to destroy both of those because we want those to get spawned in. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add a collision event in. And what I'll do is I'll just put it up here at the top. Um, just so you guys can see it here. So I'm going to do spaceship on collision with another object with the power up. Okay, so when I collide with the power up, obviously we wanna do power up destroy. And then we're gonna add an action and we're gonna have the spaceship spawn another object. So we're gonna have it spawn the buddy turret, or not the, oh, the buddy, okay, and that, uh, layer, we'll put that on main. Whenever you're typing in layer names or group names, just type in a quotation mark and then it will show you your options. So we'll do it on the main layer. Okay. 
Um, okay, spawn it on the main layer. And then, let's see here. Then we have to um, do another event. And we have to do an event for like when the buddy is created. There's two things we want it to do. We want it to basically start doing its pathfinding stuff. And we want it to spawn the buddy turrets. We're going to do buddy. We're going to say on created. So that's a nice little event that we can do. So when the buddy is created, um, we're going to have the buddy spawn the turret. And it can spawn it right on itself, but I'll put on the main layer and just to make sure it's there. Um, that looks good. And then after it spawns the buddy turret, we're going to have the turret get pinned. So we have to say buddy turret pinned to object. And it's going to pin to the buddy. And it's going to keep the position. We'll say actually position only because the turret's going to get its own angle. So we're just going to do the position. So I think that would work. So we're going to pin that there. Okay, um, and then we're also going to also have the buddy find path. So we're going to have do the path finding. So we have to do buddy. We have to do find path, and we're going to find a path to player dot or not player but spaceship. So we're going to do spaceship dot x and then spaceship.y. So basically the way pathfinding works is it's going to try to find a path to a specific location. So one way we can do that is we can just type in an x and y coordinate. So wherever my spaceship's x and y is, it's going to try to find a path to that. Okay, so it's going to find a path to that. Okay, and then we have to do some pathfinding events. So I'm going to do buddy. What we have to do is we have to do one that's called on path found. And so when my buddy finds the path, we have to tell it to actually move along the path. So then we're going to say move along path. Okay. So it's going to get created. It's going to spawn the turret. The turret's going to get pinned. And then the buddy is going to find path. Um, a couple of other things we have to do is when the buddy turret is spawned in pins, we also have to tell the buddy turret to do some stuff. So we have to add another action up here for the buddy turret. We have to add an object to target, and it's going to target the asteroids. Okay. Um, so that's one thing. And then the way the turret works, if I go to my turret over here, buddy turret, and we go into the properties, it has a few properties. So one property on the turret is the range. Um, the range is how many pixels away it can sense or like target enemies. So we'll make this a little bit higher. We'll go like a thousand pixels. So it has a pretty big range. Rate of fire is how often it will try to shoot. So this is like every one second it will try to shoot. Um, and I think that should be pretty good for what we have there. So we're just going to leave that. Now, the thing is, is even though it, it's programmed to like try and shoot already, we haven't told it what to actually shoot. So I'm going to have to make another event for the buddy turret. And we can do one that's called on shoot. And then we can tell the buddy turret to spawn a bullet. Buddy turret spawn. And it can just spawn the same bullet that we're using. And we'll just do it on the main layer because that's what I've been doing with everything else. Okay. Um, so we've got that all set. We have pathfinding on found for him to move along path. Um, then what we have to do is we have to do another one. Um, I'm going to add another event here. We also have to tell the buddy like what to do when it arrives on the path. So what I have to do is I have to say on arrive. Because what will happen is, is if I don't do anything, it'll find a path to the player. It'll go there. And then it will just sit there because it's arrived at its path. So it doesn't know what to do. So what we want to do is when it arrives on the path, it's just going to refine the path. So I'm going to actually copy this event here. And we're going to have it find a path back to the spaceship. So that way it's never ending. So it's always going to find a path to you. And then once it gets there, it's going to like see where you are then, and then it's going to go there again. So let's go ahead and try it out and see how it works. I think this should be it. So I'm really quickly going to go here. But if you do it right, I'm almost out of time here, so I might get cut off. There it goes. Yep. Yep, and that's working. It's following me around and shooting. And then all you would do is make that buddy turret invisible in the properties window. All right, so that's it for this demo.